singleness is not a burden. <sighs> it ain't. I'm married, so I can tell y'all. Singleness ain't no burden. Really don't want to kind of misconstrue that, so <laughs> let's get to it. Hey guys, my name is uh, Jillian DeFutt. Uh, this is my little corner of the world. What you're about to see is going to be me doing the breakdown of why being single and being married both have challenges in their own right and what you can do to savor your season currently. So if that sounds like something you're interested in or uh, any of the videos that you've watched previously or something that you liked, I would highly encourage you to hit subscribe below. Also put on the notifications because you don't wanna miss anything. This year is gonna be crazy. 2021 is approaching us, but I know that this pandemic isn't going away. Come find me on Instagram and let's continue the conversation. It's just uh, Jillian.Davina singleness. So I remember being single not too long ago. Actually, I've literally been married for less than a year and a half. I was only like in a relationship for nine months, but I was in and out of relationships because of the fact that I was afraid to be alone. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you that I understand that being um, single can feel like a challenge and I'm not going to discount that. Um, feeling afraid to be alone and wanting to be married because you feel like you'll have a built-in best friend, uh, which will happen with time but not instantly, is something that I think um, uh, a lot of people struggle with. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you uh, don't rush, um, but I will sit and also acknowledge the fact that I, I get it. Um, I want to provide you with kind of both sides of the coin of what it looks like to be both single as well as married and what challenges they each bring. My video I've now had to re-record because we had a lot of interruptions. I'm just here to tell you that uh, there is no better situation being single or being married. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you that out the gate. For folks who are rushing in and thinking that being married is gonna solve all your problems, it ain't. Um, honestly, it, it does not actually, it probably makes whatever issues you're going through worse. Um, so I'm here to come and tell you what my life experience has been. We might dive a little bit deeper into that later on in this series, uh, but I'm gonna kind of right now give you the highlights and the overview. I can speak about singleness because I was single, technically speaking, probably like two years ago, so I'm not super far removed. Um, also, during the time where I was single, it was a lot easier to date because we weren't in the middle of a pandemic. Right now, it's December 2020, we have survived, um, and yes, dating is much more complicated, so some of what I'm going to say may or may not apply uh, regarding that whole thing, but um, I just want to kind of emphasize, <clears throat> being married will not fix the emptiness or the loneliness that you feel when you are single. I can speak from personal experience because the reason that I was dating was because I wanted a partner or a companion and there is nothing wrong with wanting those things that I believe truly is how God designed us to be in community with people and um, I didn't savor my singleness nearly as much. I definitely went from relationship to relationship and dove headfirst into things that I shouldn't have. I've dated men significantly older than me, dated men significantly younger than me, I've dated women, uh, surprise, surprise. I've tried everything in the book. I thought um, sex was gonna fill an emptiness and a void that I had. I thought that uh, drinking would fill an emptiness and a void that I had. Um, but until I could settle with myself, kind of my own issues, I knew that um, 
or it's not that I didn't, let's just say I didn't know what was going to be coming with marriage until I could figure out what was going on with myself. In December actually of 2018, I re-met my husband. Um, I had known him several years prior uh, and then when we reconnected via the socials, uh, it was one of those things that I was not honestly looking to be in a relationship and I think that's what kind of marked the difference. Being single for me at that time was something that I really wanted to hold on to because I had spent such a significant amount of time um, diving into satisfying everybody else and not taking the time to understand who I am and what made me tick. So I was desperately trying to figure out who I was uh, when my now husband came along and <clears throat> I actually kind of pushed him away and was a real jerk. <laughs> when we first got together, I actually, uh, I tell the story as I thought he was the ugliest man in the world <laughs> when we first got together, which is hysterical now because I think he's the most handsome man now. Um, but <clears throat> when you are married, it actually will exasperate some of the uh, voids that you have. So for anybody who thinks that marriage is going to result in happily ever after or you'll never feel lonely again or anything in that capacity on the other side of being married uh, which I thought was also a solution to my problems to having you know a porn addiction to having a sex addiction like I thought that that was going to fix everything it didn't um, it actually kind of made certain things worse there is nothing more lonely than um, laying next to the person that you thought you loved and, and still feeling lonely <laughs> because you don't feel like they see you, which has happened in my very new marriage. <laughs> um, and, uh, or feeling like you're unheard or unloved or like, you know, this was supposed to fix the fact that I have, you know, this longing to be intimate with a person. Like, it just, it doesn't. Um, so both being single and being married, um, and again, I can speak from just recently having been single and recently being married. Neither thing is going to fix whatever emptiness is on the inside of you because you have to deal with you. Um, and if you have bought into the lie that matching outfits, uh, cute Instagram posts, changing your status on social media is going to fulfill you um, for, for having some gaping, lonely, empty heart um, or a piece of you that feels like it needs to be loved, then you are going to be sadly mistaken when you wake up in a marriage that feels dead. Uh, which we've experienced. Now, I will say the benefits of being married um, are, are, you know, vast. I do have now my best friend. We have worked through some tough conversations. We are really good, you know, parents to our dear sweet Zoe, and we love each other very deeply. Um, you know, we're, we're a great tag team. My husband's a stay-at-home dad. I'm, you know, in the workforce and, you know, we, we do what we can, um, but it does not draw away from the challenges. Um, you know, my, my husband and I, we, we argue about, like, I feel like he is responsible sometimes for my spiritual growth and that's not fair. I felt like he was supposed to be leading us in a particular capacity, which is also not fair, um, because he was thrust into a role that um, it's very difficult to adapt to. Um, and we've endured quite a significant amount of challenges in the past year and a half that most couples don't go through. So I was being unmerciful and ungracious with him because I was unmerciful and ungracious with myself. If there's anything that I hope you guys walk away with during this um, video is my hope is you uh, realize or grow in the fact that your um, 
there's there's more right like being single is not awful it's not the end of the world and I'm very sorry that the church has pushed it that way um, and I'm also sorry that nobody has acknowledged um, that being single is tough uh, but my hope is that um, I can encourage you in some capacity to grow not just as an individual or in your faith um, but in that season that you're able to savor it um, before becoming married uh, because marriage will not fix it it will actually expose the flaws more anyway uh, that's my tidbit if you will for the day if this video or any of the other videos in this series has brought a smile to your face I do highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button below you don't want to miss it hit the little bell so that way you can stay up to date and get notifications um, I, if you feel like there is something that you want to know about um, preparing for marriage uh, what to do while you're single, how to get through the holidays during uh, a pandemic, how to get through dating in a pandemic. I can't speak to the whole dating in a pandemic thing, but I am more than happy to kind of provide wisdom and advice um, on what I think would be, uh, for my, where I'm standing, um, good for you guys as, as, as single people and also uh, if you want to hear like the realities or whatever, just comment below what you want to hear. What do you want to see? Um, if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up. It really does help. Uh, it sounds so silly and so simple, but a click does a big uh, wave. Anyway, my name's Jillian Diffoot, and uh, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. Grace and peace.